This is the TSLA one-day reading for October 11, 2024. It's currently September 19, 2024, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Time. TSLA at the time of this reading is $243.92 USD. The shuffle vial for the October 11th reading created August 4, 2024 at 5.39 p.m. Eastern Time. In this video, we're going to go over the overall trend direction for the day. We're going to talk about the chart behavior around the day's highest high and the chart behavior around the day's lowest low, as well as the general timing uh, down to roughly about an hour as far as where they are throughout the day and then we're going to get into where the best trades are and the chart behavior by the hour basically you have to give it plus or minus an hour here or there of wiggle room and not in all readings in, in a few readings here or there but always pay attention to the sequence of events because that will keep you on track if we are plus or minus a little bit here or there on the timing so we have this continuation of whatever this situation is with this with this uh priestess card this might have to do with some sort of foreign legislation. So here throughout the second week of October, there's something going on far with foreign legislation. You can see even the, the priestess card is here as well. Interest really prominent. And it correlates to right there on, on Monday morning of 14. Interesting. So this has probably got something to do with foreign legislation. And I think it's probably ne it will negatively impact it at least temporarily, some sort of news in that regard. Behavior around the high side, a nullified crest that we sell off from through multiple support levels, indicating that we probably rally back out of it in the not too distant future. Behavior around the low, a rally out of the low, offering an opportunity to open up a short position, indicating that we're li likely gonna see the low again, or we see a lower low. I'm advised to trade around an important technical resistance level that we rally into and then we return to and, and some. In the pre-market, we open higher, and then from, the, from that higher open, we decline to and through support to meet another support and then rotate sideways. Uh, kind of like a sideways a sideways decline into the open at the open there's a rally um, out of the open along a diagonal trend line breaking through horizontal resistance to meet another resistance before pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels and that that rally uh, takes us into that key resistance somewhere between the, the open and let's say 10 30. we decline from through a diagonal trend line with increasing volatility down into a low it's probably before it's probably before 10 o'clock actually that we hit that that price level and so then we have this Rally turn over into a low, and there's a low there between roughly uh, 10 and 11. Rally out of that low, taking us to a peak with sideways rotation and a big move to the upside into a peak somewhere around 11.30, 11.45. And we're bound by a range there. There's a pretty notable decline into the lower end of a range between 12 and 1. Out of a decline between roughly 1 and 2, we have this big move from the bottom of the range all the way to the top of a range. And erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level in that two to three o'clock hour. In the midst of that, there's likely a crest that we're revisiting that was a past opportunity. If we see a high there, I'm advised not to chase that high, maybe just before three if we, if we do see a high there. And in the midst of that erratic behavior back and forth, we end up side, doing sideways rotation along the low in the last hour with a big move out of that sideways rotation and then more sideways rotation at a higher price level as we go into the close. That actually, it might even be a little earlier than that. We might be declining into the close already because there's those lows and the tower card, hard to say, but we open lower on the 14th. 